The members are reminded to abide by decorum of the House. The House will be in order. Every Democrat in the House of Representatives was laughing at Marjorie Taylor Greene after the words abide by decorum came out of her mouth. Words that couldn't have come from somebody with a lower amount of decorum than anybody else on Capitol Hill. Democrats and the Mocking Hill media were making fun of me for having a failed amendment. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. That was quite entertaining from someone that had a sexual relationship with a Chinese spy, and everyone knows it. But I moved to take our words down. You want to know why the shooter is dead in Nashville, the trans shooter? You want to know why? Because a good guy with a gun killed that woman. She identified as a man. She was mentally ill, probably taking hormones. You're a QAnon conspiracy. You like the Boogaloo boys. You all up in all of Sir, them. you're lying. These are all lies. I don't know what kind of news you're watching, but you're paying attention to the fake news. Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me how much money was given to Drag Queen Story Hour? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Who? Drag Queen Story Time, where, where men dress up as oh, oh, women oh. And, and read confusing yeah. books to children. Yeah. First, I thought you said dry clean. Shortly after, House Republicans made some wild claims about the debt ceiling negotiations. And while some in this town might be interested in theatrics, House Republicans took action. We passed a bill to address the problem. It's time for my friends on the other side to start doing their job. Call the Senate back in to take up the bill. If they don't like it, they can amend it. That is part of the legislative process. Let's get our jobs done. We've done ours. They need to do theirs. The only work they've done, to quote Matt Gates, is hold the U.S. hostage over the negotiations something that Democrats are calling out. I, I don't know how my colleagues across the aisle who voted for the Default on America Act are going to look our veterans in the eye this Memorial Day. You, you have presented our country with an impossible choice, devastating cuts or devastating default. Hungry families or homeless seniors? Kids without classrooms or parents without jobs? Empty VA clinics are, empty VA clinics are empty savings account. And now you're sending us home with no resolution. That's the plan, to default, to run out the clock. Well, I have some good news for you, 213 Every single member of the Democratic caucus has signed the discharge petition. So before you go home, before you go home, it only takes five patriots, five patriots to join us in the fight for the American people. Join us, sign the petition, stay here and fight for American families, fight for their American security.